I'd like to tell you about the different areas of the museum. Just inside and outside the main gallery, we have an area called Four Seasons. Here, you can watch a four-minute animation of a woodland scene. It was designed especially for the museum by a group of young people on a film studies course, and it's beautiful. Children absolutely love it, but then so do adults. The main gallery is called Town and Country. It includes a photographic collection of prize-winning sheep and shepherds. Leaving Town and Country, you enter Farmhouse Kitchen, which is, well, self-explanatory. Here, we have the oldest collection of equipment for making butter and cheese in the country. And this morning, a specialist cheesemaker will be giving demonstrations of how it's produced. You may even get to try some. After that, you can go in two directions. To the right is a staircase that takes you up to a landing from where you can look down on the galleries. To the left is a room called A Year on the Farm. There is lots of seating here, as sometimes we use the room for school visits, so it's a good place to stop for a rest. If you're feeling competitive, you can take our memory test, in which you answer questions about things you've seen in the museum. The next area is called Wagon Walk. This contains farm carts from nearly every part of the country. It's surprising how much regional variation there was. Beside the carts are display boards with information about each one. The carts are old and fragile, so we ask you to keep your children close to you and ensure they don't climb on the carts. From Wagon Walk, you can either make your way back to reception or go out into the garden, or even go back to take another look in the galleries. In the far corner of the garden is Bees Are Magic, but we're redeveloping this area so you can't visit that at the moment. You can still buy our honey in the shop though. Finally, there's the pond, which contains all kinds of interesting wildlife. There are baby ducks that are only a few days old, as well as tiny frogs. The pond isn't deep and there is a fence around it, so it's perfectly safe for children.